Geometric shapes are one of the main objects that are worked with in vector graphics programs. By combining them, different shapes and complete images can be obtained. The free vector graphics program Inkscape has tools for creating rectangles, ellipses, polygons and their derivatives. In this tutorial, we will focus on the specific of their creation, starting with the rectangle. The rectangle tool is located at the top of the toolbar with a small square on it. After choosing it, drawing is done by dragging the mouse in the working area. As long as no other tool is selected, another rectangle or square can be drawn if the Ctrl and Alt keys on the keyboard are pressed and held down before drawing. After drawing the object, three handles appear. With each of the squares, you can change the height and width of the shape. The circle in the right corner can be used to round the edges of the shape. In order to proceed with subsequent manipulations of the shape, it is good to make the object selection tool, which is the first in the toolbar, active. With its help, shapes can be moved around the screen and their size and shape can be changed. After selecting the tool from the left panel, select the shape to be manipulated. Arrows appear around it with the help of which you can change the size of the shape. If the shape is clicked again, another type of arrows will appear, through which it can be deformed. With those in the corners, the shape can be rotated, and with the middle ones, it can be tilted in a certain direction. By double-clicking the shape with the mouse, the handles visible immediately after its creation become available again. The operations with rectangles, shown by far, are also applicable to the ellipse and its derivatives. However, the ellipse tool can create circles and arcs in addition to ellipses. Here's how to work with it. The tool is located below the rectangle tool. After selecting it, the ellipse is drawn in the work screen by dragging while holding down the left mouse button. As long as no other tool is selected, another ellipse or circle can be drawn if before starting the drawing the Ctrl and Alt keys on the keyboard are pressed and held. After drawing the object, three handles appear. With each of the squares you can change the height and width of the shape. These dimensions can also be entered as numeric values in the Rx and Ry fields of the object's properties toolbar which is below the menus. If the two values are equal, we will get a perfect circle. With the round handle, a part of the shape can be cut out. Depending on the direction of rotation of the handle, we get a different cut. While this handle is selected, the appearance of the shape can be changed. This is done by clicking the appropriate button on the object properties toolbar after the numeric value fields. With the last button, the type of shape is restored. To get an arc, it is necessary to remove the fill color. This is done by first selecting from the color toolbar the first square in which there is a red X sign. Then open the shape with the circle shape handle and click the arc button on the properties toolbar. Working with the tool for drawing polygons makes it possible to create a rich set of different geometric shapes, if its properties are well mastered. The tool is located below the one for drawing the ellipse derivatives. After its selection, it is important to set the correct settings of the type of shape to be drawn. This is done in the properties toolbar. The first two buttons determine whether the shape to be drawn will be in the form of a star or a polygon. In the corners field, the number of rays or sides of the corresponding shape is determined. Once the shape is drawn, its appearance can be changed using the settings in the properties toolbar. The two diamond shaped handles are used to change the length of the star's beam and the angle between the beams, respectively. You can also use these settings to create triangles. 
Another interesting tool for drawing geometric shapes is the spiral. The tool icon is a spiral in the toolbar. After drawing it with the two handles at the beginning and end, the spiral can be increased or decreased in one direction and the other. When selected with the object selection tool, its shape can be changed like other geometric shapes. The Vector Graphics program Inkscape has a tool that can be used to draw three-dimensional geometric shapes. The tool is located above the spiral tool in the toolbar. After its selection, dragging it is used to draw the shape in the work screen. It has several handles that can be used to change its appearance. With the handles at the edge of the shape, it can be resized in different directions. With the two handles which are outside the shape, the perspective of the object can be changed. Most of the geometric shapes have two components, a fill and an outline. In Inkscape, different fill and outline colors can be set. Here's how it's done. The fill color is selected by choosing a color from the palette at the bottom of the work screen after selecting the shape. The outline color is set by holding down the shift key on the keyboard while selecting a color from the palette. Below the color toolbar, at the left end, you can see which color is selected for the fill and which for the outline of the respective shape. Next to the outline color box is a number that indicates the width of the outline. By right-clicking on it, it can be changed by selecting another number from the list. These were the basic steps in Inkscape vector graphic application to create geometric shapes. Their manipulation and combination can lead to creation of interesting images and patterns. Thank you for your attention.